You know, because I don't shop at, you know, uh, high price stores. That ain't my thing. I go to where it's a closeout situation. <laughs> uh, stuff is on budget. Like, uh, I like Marshalls. That's a good store right there. Marshalls, because. Yeah, you can go in Marshalls and find stuff, but you got to be uh, focused when you go into Marshalls, because, you know, it's, it's, it's a closeout, it's a liquidation. Everything ain't together all the time. That ain't, it ain't that kind of store. You're looking for an outfit. It ain't an outfit store. It's a, it's a shirt this week, pants next week type of store. It's not a full set together type of store, because, uh, yeah, because you got to realize we in an economic crisis. I, I hear that all the time, a recession. So you have to watch your money. And I miss uh, money myself. I miss just straight cash, you know, because... <laughs> yeah, because everything is automated now. You got to know your budget in your head. You got to know what you got on your little card. I don't like the whole little swiping situation because it's confusing, the little... <laughs> swiping all the time, and they'll trick you to get money back from yourself, because, uh... Because <laughs> you don't even be want money, but you'll swipe your card, and then the cashier be like, would you like cash back? You're like, well, hell yeah, I would like some cash back. I didn't... I didn't even know that they were giving cash today, but, uh... <laughs> you don't realize that's your cash every time you get some cash back. Like, I not got 40 more dollars from me. Um, cause it ain't in your budget. And they don't, they don't regulate the little card, cause sometimes I uh, swipe it at the gas station. And in my head, I have a balance, and I'm thinking the machine is gonna stop on my balance. But uh, it'll just keep running. And I'll be like, hey, somebody need to stop this, cause uh, I don't have this on my card, so... Uh, it's gonna be a misunderstanding in a minute, so I'm just gonna ride off and see what happened. And, uh, and I ride off, I figure it's a free gas day or whatever, I don't know what Shell is really doing today, but uh, the banker sent me a statement and say, you had an overdraft at the Shell. And I say, no, the Shell gave me too much gas because I did not have an overdraft. You need to take that up with the Shell attendant because uh, I don't have that. And I don't know uh, why they want to charge you an overdraft anyway, because if I don't have the draft, uh, <laughs> pretty much I don't, I don't have the over either. So uh, pretty much can go and close that account, because uh, I see we're not on the same page, Bank of America. So um, yeah, because it's, it's, it's hard to, to keep some, some money these days. You don't get uh, service like you used to for your money. You know, everything is. Uh, self-serve, you know, they got, like, you go to the mall now, it's a little kiosk workers. I don't know uh, who started this, but it's people in the middle of the mall bothering you while you're trying to go in a real store. And I don't like that at all. I'm like, hey, this is not a real business. You just, this is, this is a stand. This is a stand. It's a step up from a lemonade stand. So it's not